I'm the Dirt Monkey and today we're gonna mow a lawn mower. And kids, before we get started, remember, we're professionals. We know exactly what we're doing. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. What are you doing? Sharpening blades. <laughs> Everybody clear? Now to mow over a lawnmower requires a few different things. The first thing is plenty of wide open space because we anticipated that there could be shrapnel flying pretty far when we're done with this thing. The second thing is we required everybody that was there to have safety googles and other safety gear ready to go. Third thing, we even went so far as to have emergency medical staff on hand just in case something bad happened. All right, well technically the emergency medical staff was Brian from Brian's Lawn Maintenance with a package of Band-Aids, but in my book that still kind of counts. And the last thing that we need to do this right is a victim. So let's see who the unlucky winner of that one was. I've got to say before we get started, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Ryobi, ceramic pumpkins, watermelons or flower plants. Or ripe. Or We got nothing to do with this. <laughs> so is, that, is this actually a functioning lawnmower? That actually works pretty good. Blades. <laughs> the battery is safely removed, right? Yep. No batteries allowed. No batteries. Now this is where I think I need to introduce you to a few of the people in today's video. This is Ed Wright. He's an engineer and also one of the owners of Wright Mowers. And he's obviously not afraid to test his creations on just about anything, including watermelons, ceramic jack-o'-lanterns, and other lawn mowers. So let's see how this goes. Everybody get All right, to clear. This is this is uh, this is uh, ceramic. So watch out. Do you want more stuff? This is a shrapnel one. To mow a mower, Ed? Let's see what happens. We hit it head on or let's, let's hit it head on. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I think of the carnage my phone is taking. <laughs> Ed's checking out his equipment. Everybody clear? Yeah, we gotta break it down.
is so cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. Blade's still good. Oh, the blade survived. So after we got all done chewing up watermelons, jack-o'-lanterns, and other lawnmowers, we decided to put this right stander in super tall grass. And we actually have a video coming out where we pit it right up against the Ferris ZX3 to see who comes out on top. But that's a whole nother story. In the meantime, here's a sneak peek of some action that you'll see in that video that's gonna be coming out real soon. Pure fun, man. Sometimes, guys, you gotta have pure fun. I wanna thank Ed for letting us go crazy. Dude, that was that was epic. That was awesome. Dude. And there she goes, off into the distance. Taking her off on a gurney. And check this out, guys. Brian from Brian's Lawn Maintenance and I did a full review on every single mower that you see in this lineup. So make sure you come back to both of our channels to get that review coming at you real soon. heavy duty, medium heavy duty, light heavy duty, and then smaller category, like the 30 inch mowers. Ever since I was a child, now it's your little face. What can I do? You guys are gonna just kill me for this. Abandons me when nights died out. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> so the gauge says three quarters and it's empty. So we ran out of gas. Oh my god. Can anybody make a proper fuel gauge? Where uh, where do you it's up here. You have to go through here. Yeah. No, it says more than three quarters. They get it. I sound like my family guy. Giggity, giggity, giggity. So I better use my 